Hello and um, welcome back. I'm still working away on the tumbling feathers and I've just completed the first bit of the laden couch work and I'd just like to show you how I've got on and then make a little confession. So you can see on that first little um, little branch of, of, of feathers um, you can see I've done all the, the laden couch work but what I have to confess is I was in a bit of a rush to get started and I just stuck stuck on, um, on the canvas and sort of like set up about gun ho and I didn't double check the colour and the, and the location of my feathers. So I set myself up here when following these instructions when really I was here and it, is, you, it was a lesson to me that I needed to double check always that I was using the right thread. So I did unpick, I had to unpick because it was completely wrong. Um, however, that was a nice practice for me. Um, and I went back to the linen, put it back onto the hoop and made sure that I'd got this part here um, in the center and carefully, carefully checked what the laid part was color was and what the couch color was because they're very different as you move on to the different little feathers so that's that was my mistake if you've made any errors please share them with us because it's that thing if if someone's just starting and they find out that look very carefully because there's very subtle differences in the colors um it could save them a lot of time on picking however i did find philippa's video that we watched last week really useful for, for making sure we've got the tension right and everything and and I've really enjoyed doing the lid and couch work. And I look forward to doing it on the other feathers, which will be different colours. So I must remember to do that. It's really stupid because when you look at the picture, they're obviously very different colours. This is much darker, this one. And this one's more pink, purpley here. I don't know what I was thinking of, but that was my mistake of the day. Um, caught up anyway. And what I'm doing now is um, moving on to the next bit of this the design here and this is where we come to the cruel stem stitch and if I can just read to you what it says in, in the um, the tumbling feathers instructions it said when you have completed all the laden couch work surround each area shown completed in figure 13 which I can show you below with the cruel stem stitch now the cruel stem stitch is a lovely stitch um, and I'm just going to let Philippa explain how to do it because I think I need a little bit of a refresher. So let's watch Philippa together. Cruel stem stitch in a single thread. You could use double thread for this stitch, but make slightly longer stitches, about half an inch in length. So I've cast on in the next door feature so that my tail of my uh, waist knot isn't in the way of my stitching because there's nothing more irritating. So come up at the beginning of your line and go down and this can be anything up to about half an inch with double thread but with single thread that's going to be slightly shorter so I go down to the proportion of the size of the thread as well as the curve of the feature so as I go down with my needle I'm using my second finger in my needle hand and keeping that on top of the frame then I bring my needle up from below and pinch with my thumb and my first finger. So bring that up and you'll find that your first stitch goes flat. Go down for the next stitch in the same length as the first stitch. Again, hold your wool to the side and come back up in the first stitch. As you go around a shorter corner, then you might want to make your stitches slightly smaller. Now, as you can see, I'm stitching up and down using the same action, rather like a piston, as I do for the long and short stitch. So you don't want to stitch like that all day. So I've developed a technique where I actually turn my hand and tension the wool that way. And I find that works really well, particularly in this stitch. So I go down. I use my second finger as usual, then I come up, I pinch the needle with my thumb and my first finger as usual, but now I'm going to split my hand like that and turn it so that it's actually turning the hand that makes the tension of the stitch. 
So go down, use your second finger to hold the loop away, come back at the end of the previous stitch, pinch, split, turn. And you'll find that you can rock it through your stitching if you use these very comfortable techniques. So down, back up at the end of the last stitch, pinch, split, turn. And I'm going to race down this side doing this technique. Well, I found that video really useful. So I'm going to um, cast on now and I'm going to do some of the cruel stem stitch. And then if we come back tomorrow and have a look how we got on and what we've got to do next. So speak to you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>